Hello, I'm Adam Riley, and I'm going to be solving prepping data 2024 week 16 using the Enzo product with you. Uh, so this week we've got some budget data. Uh, it's been given to us in Excel, and classic problem that you see with data in Excel, not in the greatest of format. So we've got two work sheets in the workbook in different formats. Look at the forecasted spending or the worth of the two formats. We've got some blank lines in here, uh, some notes, columns. So what do we want to do? So we need to input the Excel file. So I'll start off with a data read component. And I'll just point that at the Excel file that I've previously downloaded. Remove the component. Uh, and then from there, I can read in the individual sheet. So I'll start with the budget sheets. I think this one is the dirtier of the two. Let's look at that. And then the, yeah. So, so indeed. Nothing rose, got this notes column we don't want. The minute hasn't auto detected the headers. So let's start by doing that. So if we use first row as name, this is the first row into the headers. And there we go. So then we can get rid of this notes column. So remove columns, uh, notes. So that's looking a bit better. Um, so 2022, that's actually the category column. So if we rename that column to category. Okay, so next up, let's get rid of these nothing values in the category. So if I do a filter, where category is not nothing. Okay, it's beginning to look a little bit cleaner. Okay, so next one I've got is I've got these A's, which sort of represents thousands, and I need to update that. So I'll do a text replace. Um, so I'll do that on the category column. No, sorry, not the category column, on the budget column. And I'm going to replace the Ks with three zeros like that. Um, okay, expected chart type, I've got a column budget of type mix. Okay, so the problem is, is because this data Dirty in Excel. I mean, when there was a mixed type column, text replace works on text columns. So, okay, if I do a cast first, so I'm going to cast the budget column for string. So that's then they're going to let me fix up those Ks. Now we've got the wages 27,000, and then I can pass it back estimated it back to a number field, which is what I'm going to need. Um, so I've got a bit of that back now to a number. Okay, so that's the first one. So now if I go back to the top, and again, come off here, this time, I'm going to work on the actual data. Uh, I guess I'll do it alongside the one that we did before. Uh, so again, it's not auto-detected the columns. So maybe this time I'll do copy and paste of some of the components I used before. Pop them into my new flow. Okay, this data is actually a lot better than before. So still we have got a nothing value at the bottom that we don't want. And we've still got this 2022 instead of category. So let's take the rename. And that be useful. And we'll take the filter. I think that's looking good. That's been actual. Yeah, so let's now bring this here and let's 
join these two together. Um, join uh, inner join on category. Looks good. And so now, what's it want me to do? Okay, so now it wants to rename the fields. Okay, we can do that. So another rename. Um, so the budget with the forecasted spending. Copy and paste these across. And the actual is the actual spending. Looking good. And now it wants the difference between forecast and actual values. Um, so I'll do a set component to create a new field. And I'll just do a simple expression for this. And if I take the actual spending and subtract the forecast spending. That looks, yeah, looking good. And then a name for this difference. If I could spell. Um, this uh, right. That's better. Uh, okay, so now what we want anyone around that. So again, I can do that with the set command. Set. Simple expression, difference. Um, what is about there? Yeah, round. Decision zero. Yep, so that's the new column there. And if I set mode into update, it will just update it in place. So there we go. I think that's a final answer. Um, oh, though they've got nine rows, I've got eight. Where? Yeah, so we're missing transaction fees. Okay, so where did that go? I see. Maybe in the join. Let's have a look. We send these two out just before the join. So there's transaction fees. Oh, okay. So transaction fees on this side is missing the space, and I'm. So it's got space here, it's missing the space on this side, so that's clearly not joining. So I guess I could do a lookup table to put the space in. I think a more robust solution though, if I copy this text replay component, and I'm going to take the space out of the categories. The result won't quite match, but this is going to be more future proof for future dirty data. So that the category field i'm going to replace spaces with nothing and then if we go down we can see we've now got the nine rows with the transaction fees and those numbers look right so there we have it uh wrapping data 2024 week 16 solved and enter thank you for watching